How to attract men even if you feel unattractive, beautiful, hot, and sexy. All of these are very subjective terms, most likely coined by people with a falsified taste of the outer look of others around them. We are all ugly in some manner, according to some standards, in the eyes of some people, but we are also all beautiful in ways we cannot imagine. You're more pretty than you think. However, it's very normal to feel as if you aren't. In a society saturated with airbrush models marketing everything from alcohol to automobiles, your self-esteem may drop to dangerous levels. You might be shocked to find that even women you think are gorgeous struggle with some aspects of their appearance, and this self-doubt can drive others away and make dating seem impossible. If you want to go beyond those unpleasant thoughts of being unattractive to find a partner, you'll need to apply some understanding, position yourself in the right setting to locate a guy lucky enough to be with you, and then it's simply a matter of sealing the deal. So here are some secrets you can use to attract men even if you feel unattractive. Part 1. Understanding and Improving Poor Self-Image Identify and address the areas that lead to a poor self-image. There may be something noticeable that has made it difficult for you to love your body, such as a birthmark or a scar. Or there may be tiny features that you can just not enjoy about yourself, such as your mouth or the shape of your nose. In some circumstances, the problem isn't physical, but rather the effect of emotional abuse, such as being told you're overweight while being healthy. Confronting these demons might be challenging, but only acceptance allows you to go forward, learn to love yourself, and accept the love of others. Try to identify a feature in yourself and someone you respect in your own life. Your family is a great place to look for this. Recognizing a feature you hate about yourself in a favorite family member, such as your aunt or mother, allows you to begin opposing your negative ideas by reminding yourself, I think mom looks beautiful, and people constantly compare me to her. I am a lot more beautiful than I think. Coach yourself to accept any imperfections you feel you have as a result of being human. Replace your criticism with positive and supportive words of encouragement. You are not responsible for the mole on your cheek, but you are for how you feel and treat yourself. You aren't a loser, a freak, or hideous. You're unique. That makes you unique. Number 2. Oppose unreasonable media standards People who you see in advertisements and on television are not an accurate representation of real people. More importantly, how someone else looks should not impact how you feel about yourself. Looks fade, and perfection in many situations appears waxen and fake. Idealizing an unreasonably high standard may be the root of a self-image problem. Combat these feelings by reminding yourself on a daily basis that many of the women in the media represent a relatively tiny percentage of the population. Trying to be like them is useless. Whenever you find yourself comparing your characteristics to others in the media, challenge such thoughts. Tell yourself you're attractive, and these ladies don't reflect a healthy standard that everybody can achieve. This will promote a better way of thinking, which will help you overcome anxiety and depression, both of which can reduce your attractiveness. You might spend hundreds of dollars, if not more, on image-enhancing beauty products and procedures. Even with the most radical makeovers, if you're unhappy with who you are on the inside, no change in your looks can make you feel better. Number 3. Build confidence in good relationships to increase your attractiveness. Confidence has long been recognized as an important factor in dating and beauty, and well-controlled stress will make you look more appealing. To maintain a good relationship and boost your confidence, consider dressing yourself in your preferred style. Some styles are more suited to some people than others. Spend some time experimenting with different styles to see what works best for you. Look your best in order to present your best face in everyday life. You'll look and feel better if you highlight your best features and fuel your body with healthy alternatives, such as a balanced diet. Number 4. Make positive adjustments to boost your self-image. Although a change in your looks should not determine your self-worth, making efforts to enhance your health can provide you with a stronger connection to your body, a feeling of personal accomplishment, a boost in your mood, improved skin quality, and a more optimistic perspective. Though you may want to change things overnight, trying to entirely change your diet or the amount of physical activity you engage in overnight seldom produces long-term results. 
Instead, identify harmful places and wean yourself from them gradually. Part 2. Finding a guy that values you. Put yourself in the right environment. You won't find Mr. Right sitting on the sofa every night watching Netflix. Try to participate in social events that relate to your particular interests or hobbies. This way, you'll genuinely like going out, and the people you meet at these activities will likely share your interest. Shared interests are an important part of most strong partnerships. Use online resources such as meetup.com or citysocializer.com to locate individuals in your region who share similar interests and want to mingle. These types of websites give a public forum in which you can meet guys who you would not otherwise meet. You might also check out local groups, classes at your local community college or center, or a sports league. Book clubs, board game groups, choirs, political events, creative writing courses, art classes, culinary classes, beach volleyball, kickball, dodgeball, and other activities may be beneficial in your hunt for the ideal person. Number six, get outside your comfort zone. Stepping outside of your comfort zone, trying something new, and meeting new people will help you to achieve your personal best. When you move beyond your comfort zone, you feel a sense of positive anxiety, which boosts your productivity, helps you deal with change, and inspires you to push your limits. Any of these characteristics might easily wow and win over future boyfriends. Try a novel approach to an everyday situation. This might be as easy as trying a new route to your job. The goal here is to place yourself in a scenario in which your perspective is different from the usual. Make tiny changes and gradually work your way up, trying things that are significantly new and unique. Pushing oneself too hard might cause excessive anxiety, leaving you feeling paralyzed or overwhelmed. Start by making tiny changes and then progress to bigger ones. Number 7. Know Your Worth Feeling ugly might cause you to settle for a relationship with someone who does not respect you for who you are. Your emotional and mental wellness comes first, not your relationship. You are deserving of a partner that accepts and loves you for who you are. Don't accept any less. If a male friend with whom you want to develop a relationship pressures you to do things he wants without regards for your feelings, makes you feel unhappy or scared about the state of your relationship, or even demands that you devote the majority of your time and energy to him, your relationship may be more harmful than healthy. These may be signs that you should avoid pursuing a relationship with him. And part three, courting that special guy. Number one, maintain eye contact. This might be challenging, especially if you have butterflies in your stomach from nervousness. However, eye contact is a universal sign that indicates your interest in him. So try not to look away when you and him lock eyes. Eye contact might also help you appear more appealing and agreeable to him. Looking intently into his eyes improves your chances of winning him over. Number two, touch him when appropriate. When you touch him, his brain spontaneously releases a chemical called oxytocin, sometimes known as the love hormone. Beyond that, oxytocin is essential for social bonding and trust building. Aim for the harmless touches on his arm or shoulder at first, but as you get closer, let your touches linger. And number three, smile. When you smile at him, you're letting him know that you like spending time with him. This activates the reward response in his brain, perhaps making him want to satisfy you even more. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching.